Hey, welcome back. Um, I'm going to continue where I left off because uh, I bloody ran out of time on that last video. Um, this one should only be a couple of minutes, so uh, that's cool. Okay, right, so where were we? I was inside the uh, git hooks folder. So if we go back into cd repo slash hooks, uh, let's see what's in there. Okay. So yeah, uh, on the last tutorial, I just used the cat method to produce the post receive file. Um, I actually spelled it wrong, so I've renamed it. Post receive spelled the right way. Um, if we just have a quick look inside that using them. Okay, this is the file we've got inside. So it's uh, it's just a shell script, um, and we're just defining where the git working tree is, and then we're checking out um, the git repository into that tree. Um, so now the theory is, if I do, if I make a change to my project and I push it to the deploy branch that we created, um, it should then trigger this shell script, the post receive shell script, and magically put our files inside the www folder. So let's try that. Um, I'm just going to exit out of here. So that's colon q. Oh, I'm just going back to the home folder. <coughs> okay, so let's uh, let's find my project. We're in my project. I'm just going to open up the app. Let's just make any change. Okay, so um, I'll just make a different. I'll just make a different comment here. Like this is a comment. Um, I'll save that. Um, I'll go back to my git bash, and I'm going to go git add all uh, git commit. Give a stupid message like I changed the comments. Commit that. And now this is the exciting bit. Git push deploy. Because deploy is the name of the remote we made to our server. Hit enter. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So it looks like everything went to plan. Uh, we need to go back to our server to see what happened. So I'm in the home folder at the moment. We've got the repo www. So if we go into the www folder, there should be contents in there. So cd w that's ls, and there we go. That's our that's our project right there. Um, if we want to have a look at the app.js folder that uh, file, there we go. We can have a little scroll down. As you can see, this is exactly what's there, and our comment. Roots this to the comment. Roots this to the comment. Brilliant. So let's just quickly, let's just quickly test this again. So what happens when we make a change to our project? Now uh, let's just change some. This is I'll just change it. Um, another changed comment. Save that again. Go back to our add all. Commit the change. Push deploy. And let's exit out of here. And go back in again. Da 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 Wicked, that's amazing, right? Um, now, I will probably go into more detail about this in another screencast um, if you're using Node um, because. With Node, you obviously have to stop the server, restart the server, and then it'll be up and running. And uh, yeah, that that'll be that's really important with deploys that you're you're obviously running the latest version of the files. Uh, I can give a quick example now of uh, running the files. Um, if we go Node app. Uh, we don't have our dependencies. Um, and npm. Install. Oh, I'm gonna need to see C on that. Oh, no, maybe it will work. Oh, it looks like it worked. Okay, so that install would have should have installed my dependencies. We got a Node modules folder now. Sorry, I'm just breezing over this stuff, but I want to show you that this this little site will run on our server. Um, I forget Node app again. Okay, Express Server listening on port 3000. Now, there's one thing we have to do before we can view this site. Um, our 
new instance is running on the default security group. <coughs> our default security group and I don't know if you remember but we only have port 22 open this app is running on port 3000 so we have to then make port 3000 available add that rule allow anyone to access it apply the rule changes now if everything went to plan we should be able to go to our IP IP address on port 3000 and there we have it that's our express app running on our EC2 server um, after we've deployed it using git so that's pretty cool I'm gonna go yeah I'll go into more detail on another screencast about how how we can um, use upstart to make sure our node process is always running even when we close the close the uh, terminal and also, yeah, when we deploy, we want to stop, uh, restart the server with the latest files. So that's something else I'll, I'll go into. But this is this is still pretty cool, and it's much nicer than using uh, FTP or having to SSH into the server and doing like a Git pull every time you make changes to a Git repository. Now, there's there's one last thing I want to show you because uh, yeah, we've got our repository on our EC2 server, but what if we want it on GitHub as well? What if we want that a shared project on GitHub, and then when we're ready to deploy it to the server, we want to deploy it as well? Because you want you might want a different remote. So, um, in this example, I'll set up another remote to GitHub where we can view all the source of the files, and it's just a nicer to see it all there. And then when you're ready, you can deploy it to the the server. Um, so. <coughs> I'll go to, yeah, this is the GitHub homepage. I'm going to start a new repo. I'm already signed in. Call it my project. Create a repository. Um, and I'm going to add this remote here. So, yeah, I'm back in my, my local server. My local machine, sorry. Now, I'm going to change, I'm going to add another remote, just the same way we added our uh, SSH remote to our ACC server. I'm just going to call this one GitHub. Add that on there. So that should be cool. And now, if now, I think I should be able to just do git push. So there, okay. Git push. Um, we're going to do it to GitHub, and it's going to be master. So there we go. That just pushed it to GitHub as well. So let's refresh this page, and there's our project. Um, that's really cool. So now, if we look at our remotes branch and then I'll use the A flag to show all branches. So see now we've got the master branch which is the one that we're using on our local machine. We've got uh, the deploy branch which is the one we're pushing to our ACT server and we've got the GitHub branch. So I, I don't know if this is the best way of doing it but I think this could be quite cool for a team environment because you could you could just say whenever you're doing smaller, um, smaller changes you can push them to GitHub. They can be reviewed by the team and changed and then when you're ready uh, one member of the team can deploy it straight to the server using the, the deploy branch. Um, I mean, I'd be interested in know other ways of doing it as well, but this seems quite cool to me. And yeah, I think that's all. I'll uh, I'll come back with another another uh, screencast about about that uh, using Upstart and how to keep your Node projects how how to keep your Node apps running when you close the server. Down. Okay, so that's it. Finally. Okay, bye.